Hi, I'm Ty. You're watching Phantom 4 Pro Tutorials. Today I'll show you how to use tap fly mode. In tap fly mode, flying the Phantom 4 Pro is as easy as tapping on the screen. Make sure your Phantom 4 Pro is in P mode and you are flying at 2 meters above the ground or more. In this video, we'll be referring to the master stick mode menu in the DJI Go 4 app and using mode 2 as our control mode. Enter the Intelligent Flight Mode section of DJI GO 4 by tapping here. The Phantom 4 Pro now has three tap fly modes. For tap fly forward, simply tap the tap fly icon and you're ready. All you need to do is tap on the screen where you want the Phantom 4 Pro to fly and it'll head in that direction. Tap fly backward is the exact opposite of tap fly forward. Simply tap the screen in the opposite direction of where you want to go. In Tap Fly Free, you can now lock the forward direction of the Phantom 4 Pro without locking the camera direction in place, allowing you to turn the aircraft in the air as it flies. See? Just move the left stick on the controller left or right to pivot the Phantom as it moves automatically through the air. To change speed, you can use the speed bar on the right of the app. And if you want to go in a different direction, just tap somewhere else on the screen. While your Phantom 4 Pro is handling the flying, you can concentrate on being the camera operator and control the gimbal to get the exact shot you want. Of course, while you're flying in tap fly, the Phantom 4 Pro's front and rear obstacle sensing system is also working, so you won't need to worry about bumping into anything. A new AR route function allows you to see the aircraft's real-time flight direction as a series of green arrows on the screen. This is useful because sometimes it can be difficult to control altitude, course, speed, and camera pitch simultaneously using joysticks. 